the fish farming in Jamaica. For the past couple of days, I've been sharing with you all my audience from across the world. Um, you know, a typical tilapia fish farm setup. Today's video highlights uh, measures taken by the Jamaican government so as to assist um, persons who are, you know, in, what you call it now, interested in becoming tilapia fish farmers. Points to note, tilapia fish farmers are, are group along certain scales. You have large, medium, and small. Now, small and medium fish farmers, tilapia fish farmers, would actually purchase their um their stock of uh, tilapia uh, babies from offices such as Rada, located here in Spanish Town, Jamaica. The the office of this building is uh well the office that facilitate this uh is located just in front of the jamaica constabulary force uh college right at spanish town enter into spanish town so you'll pass the college and you'll pass the you pass the persons actually selling fish um to your left and it's the next left turn and then you follow that road and then you keep left going around and you will see you continue left all around cross the bridge continue and you will see a, a huge gate and a compound with several ponds in it now what these uh what what, what this location actually facilitates is the the, the 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 breeding of uh tilapia fries i should say yeah the breeding of tilapia fries and the the trading of these fries to prospective individuals not only do they do that but they also have extension officers who actually uh go out so as to ensure that individual actually do the setup properly and you know help them to manage their pond setup now uh what will happen also is that they there, there are several categories of, of, of farmers, as I said before. You have small farmers and you have large farmers. And on this on this property, you will notice that there are several ponds, right? Um, these ponds um, are home to several stock of tilapia fish, koi and goldfish. Yes, they do sell koi and they do sell goldfish. And they sell uh, tilapia uh, fries, right, by the dozen, okay? so you will go over there and you'll make your order and you per, you will um pay the monies for the order by the office by this office and then you'll go across near the tax office and you'll pick up your your stock all right now the stock that are sold here are stock primarily for grow out not for breeding and so you carry the stock home and these fish will not breed they are going to be sex reverse and they will end up uh, become I mean all males because as I shared in the last couple of videos uh, male tilapia um, grow faster and you know it, 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 it works out better when you have a uh, male stock uh, than you have male and female growing some persons do practice um, mixed stock cultivation which is a little bit difficult because the fish will end up grow um, very slowly if any at all and um you know it it, it 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 will create problems because they will keep on multiplying and the fish would not be to the size in which you need to i know persons will actually buy them as fish to cook and eat all right so uh at this office they do not practice the use of estrogen that is the reversal of um of gender to to, to females uh however they practice the use of uh testosterone so as to ensure that the three quarter uh the 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 the, 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 the fries that are bred here are um three quarter of those fries are female so they reverse them to what you call male stock right they go very fast and within six to seven months they are able um you know become you know food 
some persons might say that this is an ethical this is not good it, it harms the human system uh, but you know as you, as you look at the whole population uh, for, for example in jamaica in 1962 jamaica gained independence when jamaica gained independence in 1962 roughly 600,000 individuals were calculated as uh the you know that of the population the population was 600,000 today um you know some nearly 60 years yeah should i say 60 yeah 60 60 years august coming it will be 60 years um jamaica have a population of nearly 3 million persons and that is 3 million living in jamaica at this moment right you have more than that living overseas okay in order to ensure that we have what you call a steady food security right um means are necessary so as to ensure that we have provisions for uh Individuals coming up, you know, we have protein source, we have carbohydrates, we have all the different food um, supplements to sustain the population, right? Chicken and fish are both uh, one of the cheapest and easiest means of, of protein source uh, for any country right now, right? Within the Caribbean, right? So the, the breeding of, 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 of tilapia this way you know uh, some persons might say that they are it is unethical it helps to sustain life right um so it's the sustain life through means of food and protein source and uh persons are able to financially sustain themselves through earning of you know using it as a means of you know generating income all right so let's listen to this interview in which i did with someone at the rather office extension office um at at spanish town uh just where i was directing you to a while ago and he will share with you in details some aspect of the breeding exercise the location where i'm at right now is the still the the hatchery is still the uh rather office which is over the hatchery section right um they have uh, several ponds. Some ponds have both goldfish and koi, and and there yeah, are some amount of tadpoles also. No crocodiles, no alligator. Well, yeah, those are not in Jamaica, right? American crocodiles, nothing, nothing Jamaica crocodile, right? So um, yeah. Uh, so let's see what he has to say. Thank you for listening so far. Let's see what this gentleman has to say and it all put things in focus as to where i'm at where i'm coming from and we are actually pointing you in the direction right so if you need more information regarding um you know how you can start up your tilapia fish farm uh, at the back of your yard you can get in contact with the rada office um information is all in the description section below <laughs> Uh, um, question, you, you guys practice um, mixed stock uh, for uh, cultivation or uh, your, your arm, um, you, you divide the stock made and female? Alright, we are working with the first stock that run. We change them sex or other. This is the same thing. Ah, you know, you have to take them on. Alright, yes sir. Stop. When they're born, three quarters of them is female. Yeah. So if we change them sex or other. Yeah. We have, we have a, a, a male amount and testosterone. Yeah. And we treat them with, well, we feed them with 21 days. Okay, 21 days, three weeks. Okay. Yeah. And so, so, for your insurance, so they have brood stock. Bro, all right. The, the, the brood stock yeah. can't get the testosterone. When we, I, I, all right. Like we have the, the brood pan now. Same? Yeah. If we have a look some, if we want some young brood stock for, Actually, they may have boot stock, you know. Okay. They may have a boot stock. Okay. They may not touch no, no ammo, no, not at all. Okay. But so uh, male and female in a this? Yeah, male and female in a this. Okay. But if you rather to make the fish grow, uh -huh. you have to give them testosterone. We change, make them can reproduce in the pan. Apparently, the more they reproduce in the pan, uh -huh. it about knocking it upon and the, the growth rate and a slow upon them for too much ammonia in it yeah 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 yes sir. you understand uh -huh. but when you like 
you directly want the, the, the female fish them and the mate, you want the boots that you don't make them touch no farm and hormone. Mm -hmm. So 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 you don't you don't give them no type of eye. For example, let's say that you have too much let's say that you want some some, some root stock, right? Yeah. And um you find it difficult to get roots. Do you do the reverse, like give them um estrogen uh what do you call it? Estrogen no, so as to no, no, even up the thing? No, we don't do that. You you we do. All the while to really get the root stock. Yes sir. We really when we have the root farm, we make sure we take off a batch of fry. Uh -huh. When we touch your arm one and all. And we grow them out naturally. So do you find that um you might have some cannibalism going on? Like for example, you know, say some grow bigger than some. For example, yeah, you see yeah, some small yeah, one yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, cannibal has our one, but we can grade them. Oh, so you grade them and put them in a different pond? Yeah, grade them. We we'll run them through a grader. Yeah. Where every size the size and match up. This size go to this one and this size go to another pond. Okay, and then um so, so, so who like who are more likely to buy from you? Like the vendors out there so our farmer oh, right. can sell? Here, here so is a hatchery. Oh yeah? We breed fish and sell it to the farmer. Okay. So the farmer themselves can't breed it none at all when they uh, Yeah, yeah. Them, enough of them don't have the, the thing that to breed them. The facility? The to breed them. So maybe they buy from we. So maybe a farmer will come buy like uh, 200,000 from we. Yeah. And breed and and grow them, them up, grow them up, yeah. and and the higgler them out there from me and come buy them from the farm. And when they start, they don't know they would have come back and yeah. they would have buy more. They would have buy more and they buy continue buy from me. Okay, you ever find yourself say like you're out of stock, so you have them have to wait a couple months before you get more stuff? Right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Special in these times, when when the time cool, the fish don't reproduce too fast. Okay. Are you not, are not, are you not practice like using like heater a uh, heating mechanism so as to ensure if it speed up them. Yeah, we could have do that but maybe we have set up a new lobby and now so maybe all of that are going right in it. So you know say we can think that we can deal with that. You can work all a different way maybe because you know say some fish we can't breathe down at all. Uh -huh. we, we actually inject them out here. Okay. Inject them and, and get the egg from the female. Uh -huh. Inject the male and get the, the sperm put on fertilizer for self uh -huh. and, and it works yeah man we do it all the while yeah. okay all right um you have any more fish over there so we can look at yeah, okay all right